Hi, this is a nameless ghoul from Ghost. You're watching Ramsey. Vicky here from Ramsline and I'm with a nameless school oh, yeah. of Ghost. How are you today? I'm fine, very fine. Thank you very much. And it hasn't rained yet. Do you like rain being a nameless school? Does it matter what the weather is? I don't care. You We're don't playing care. indoors. We're playing in a tent. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. Of course, I don't like my shoes to get all muddy, but it yeah. does, you know. Do, do you Ghost ever wear wellies? I would wear wellies, but I don't get them. Can you buy them here, you think? I think you can buy them, yeah. All right. I would like, I think it would I'll be pick up a yeah. quite fun to see ghosts walking around wearing wellies, maybe a poncho. Probably not on stage though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't really we got spats, but maybe those would fit on wellies. I, I wouldn't know that. Yeah, you never know. Um, so, your new album's just come out and it has done very, very well, I hear. Um, it's nearly uh, gone into the top 20 um, in most countries. Have you found the reaction to the new album? I'm very happy about it, very happy. Uh, I mean, as much as I'm astonished by it, I'm very proud of the album. So it would be bullshit to say I didn't expect it, because I expected a step up from last time. Yeah. And last time we did kind of good at some places, so... But, I mean, I'm as much as I'm grateful for doing this and whatnot, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that every day that we're doing this and we're able to do this. Yeah. Know, so, I'm very happy. Yeah. For one sense. <laughs> and, um, so I wanted to ask, um, you've got Papa Roman Writers free now. Yeah. Is he an actual new man or is it the same man reborn? I'm sorry? Is Papa Roman Writers uh, a natural new man? Because now he's number three rather yeah. than number two. It's a new guy, yeah. Actually. Yeah, completely new. So is that just, do you always change a singer? It's Pope Succession. Okay. Like the Vatican does it. Okay. Same thing. So you, you follow that process? Yeah. And you know, being a band um, with no identity, what do you find the biggest benefit of that? That I, unlike every fucking other artist here, can go off stage, take off my clothes, and don't have to be that guy on stage. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to every indie band here or rock band that have yeah. to be that rocker guy all day long, and which they are not actually. You know, they you know you, you they have to think of who they are when they're going to warm up. You know? So. After your show, you're going to go out and watch Metallica? Yep. And no one will know that you're a nameless school. Metallica will? Yeah, they're headlining tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, good, good. And uh, so what's the biggest negative about being a nameless school? Um, you know, no, having no identity? Well, obviously, as much as everyone else, I'm in this because I'm an exhibitionist. 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 That's yeah. the word. <laughs> and. Uh, not getting recognized sometimes can be a hassle, of course, but for the most time it's good. Yeah. But you know, there are certain times and places where you don't want to get little, little, little ego boost or whatnot, so. Yeah. And yeah. in terms of that, it's a hassle sometimes. It is nice that you can turn it on and off, though. Yeah. You know. It is very nice. Yeah. yeah. And I was reading some of the uh, speculation articles on the internet. People were trying to figure out your identities. And I read that some people think that Papa Emeritus is a member of the Rolling Stones. Um, another uh, <laughs> another person wrote that they thought that you were all some sort of cartel that you know formed this band to you know maybe dominate the world. <laughs> Do you think your identity will ever be revealed? Oh yeah, it will. <laughs> it will. Sooner or later, yeah. Sure, sure. One day, someone, some paparazzi is gonna take a yeah. picture and be like, "This is the proof." Yeah. I look forward to that because it... I'm, I'm astonished it hasn't happened yet, actually, so... Yeah. yeah. But do you, do you think that could be a disadvantage? No. I mean, even if we would take off the masks for interviews one day or whatnot, we would never play without them. It's yeah. not, it's not going to be a band that play without the mask, so... Well... So it doesn't... I'm not sure it would matter in that sense, but... Yeah. As for now, we're very fine with how things are going. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, you're a band that have always put quite a lot of effort into, obviously, your appearance, for one, and your stage show. Um, so I wondered, you know, if you had unlimited money and resource, what would a ghost show look like? Oh, don't even start. I mean, <laughs> we have so many ideas and dreams, so... Basically, it would be everything you could imagine, but, you know, classy way, because, you know... Overdoing it is not too much fun either. Yeah. A tasteful fucking spectacle it would be. Yeah. I, I feel like it could be like, kind of like Ramstein, but then more of a gentleman's club sort of thing. You see what I mean? 
I love you saying that, obviously, but if it turns out not to be that, you would be reviewing our new show from your expectations. You see what I mean? Potentially. Yeah. Potentially. Because now you get this sense that we're the implement, which we were pretty fucking far from in reality. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen in yeah. 10 years, so. Well, but I, thank you for the idea. Yeah. If you use it, then we know where it came first. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Cool. So, uh, what, have, what are the um, what are ghost plans for the rest of the year? Touring. Just tour. All the way. Any UK dates coming up? Maybe. Ooh. <laughs> cool. Well, we really look forward to that, and we really look forward to your set today. And um, again, congratulations on the album release. Thank and you so much. Very, very nice to see it's doing very well. Thank you.